The Untold Sacrifice Hazrat Abbas ibn Ali's Brave Journey for Water in Karbala In the heart-wrenching saga of Karbala, Hazrat Abbas ibn Ali emerges as a beacon of unparalleled bravery and unwavering devotion. Amidst the scorching sands where the sun mirrored the burning thirst of Hussein's camp, Abbas stood as the epitome of loyalty and sacrifice. His towering presence and unmatched courage made him the stalwart protector of Imam Hussein and the vulnerable souls under their care. As the battle unfolded and the enemy forces tightened their grip, denying water to Hussein's followers, Abbas's resolve was tested like never before. The cries of thirsty children, including his beloved niece, Sakina, pierced his heart. Driven by an unyielding sense of duty and love for his brother, Abbas embarked on a daring mission that would forever etch his name in history. Abbas, entrusted as the standard bearer of Hussein's army, took on the perilous task of fetching water from the Euphrates. Despite knowing the risks and the near impossibility of the mission, he set forth clad in armor, with Hussein's flag in one hand and a water skin in the other. Battling through enemy lines, Abbas reached the riverbank, his sole focus on quenching the unbearable thirst of the camp's children. He filled the water skin amidst the enemy's watchful eyes, determined to deliver the precious resource back to his waiting family. The return journey, however, was fraught with peril. The enemy, realizing the significance of Abbas's mission, launched a ferocious assault. Abbas fought with the courage of a lion, losing both arms in the process, but still clutching the water skin with his teeth. His indomitable spirit and unwavering determination were evident as he fought to protect the lifeline he carried. In a heartbreaking moment, Abbas was struck on the head with a sword of state, fatally wounded. As he fell by the river, the water skin dropped from his grasp, its contents spilled upon the ground. His sacrifice, though valiant, ended in tragic failure. The news of Abbas's death reached Imam Hussein, who rushed to his brother's side, his heart heavy with grief. The sight of Abbas, lifeless and unable to fulfill his mission, shattered Hussein's stoic demeanor. Abbas's sacrifice epitomized the essence of Karbala. Unwavering loyalty, immense sacrifice, and profound sorrow. His death marked the end of any hope for relief and cast a shadow of deep mourning over Hussein's forces. Abbas was born into a family renowned for its bravery and piety, the son of Imam Ali and Fatima bint Hizam. From a young age, Abbas's physical prowess and noble character were evident. His deep bond with Hussein was forged through mutual respect and unconditional love, shaping his actions and decisions throughout his life. As tensions escalated between Hussein and the ruling caliphate of Yazid ibn Muawiyah, Abbas's role became increasingly crucial. Hussein's refusal to pledge allegiance to Yazid set the stage for the tragic confrontation in Karbala. Accompanied by his family and a small band of loyal followers, Hussein faced Yazid's formidable army in the arid plains of Karbala. In the days leading to the battle, Abbas witnessed the mounting hardships faced by Hussein's camp. Cut off from vital supplies, the scorching desert sun intensified the suffering, particularly among the women and children. Abbas's anguish grew as he witnessed their distress, especially that of his young niece, Sakina, whose cries for water echoed through the camp. On the fateful day of Ashura, Abbas approached Hussein with a request to go to the river in search of water. Aware of the dangers yet moved by the desperate need, Hussein granted Abbas permission. With Hussein's standard in one hand and the water skin in the other, Abbas embarked on his mission. His departure brought a glimmer of hope to the weary hearts of the camp, knowing Abbas would spare no effort to ease their suffering. As Abbas fought his way to the Euphrates, he encountered fierce resistance from Yazid's forces. Undeterred, he pressed forward, his determination unwavering. Upon reaching the river, Abbas swiftly filled the water skin, his heart brimming with relief and urgency to return to the camp. 
The journey back, however, proved treacherous. Recognizing the significance of Abbas's mission, the enemy intensified their attacks. Abbas defended the water skin with unmatched valor, losing both arms in the ensuing battle. Despite his grievous wounds, he clung to the water skin with his teeth, refusing to relinquish the lifeline. In his final moments, Abbas was struck down by a brutal blow to the head. As he fell, mortally wounded, the water skin slipped from his grasp, its precious contents lost. The weight of Abbas's sacrifice and the enormity of his loss reverberated through Hussein's camp. Imam Hussein, upon learning of Abbas's death, rushed to his brother's side. The sight of Abbas, his flag still by his side, and the water skin lying empty, shattered Hussein's resolve. Abbas's death marked the end of hope for relief and plunged Hussein's followers into deep mourning. The camp, once alive with courage and determination, now echoed with the quiet grief of those left behind, mourning the loss of their beloved Abbas. In the aftermath of Karbala, Abbas's legacy endured as a testament to bravery, sacrifice, and unwavering faith. Revered as Bab al-Hawaj, the door to fulfilling needs, Abbas is believed to intercede on behalf of supplicants, answering prayers made in his honor. His story is commemorated annually during Ashura, a time when millions around the world reflect on his courage and sacrifice. Abbas's unwavering dedication to Hussein and his family remains a poignant reminder of the power of sacrifice and steadfastness in the face of adversity. His legacy continues to inspire generations, reminding believers of the values of justice, loyalty, and unconditional love. In moments of reflection, the image of Abbas, standing tall with Hussein's flag and the water skin, remains etched in the hearts of those who honor his memory. His sacrifice, though tragic, stands as a testament to the enduring power of faith and love.